Hi all, in this video, we are going to learn about how to handle strings. As a recap, we have learned about how to define strings. We can define like this, first underscore name as a variable, and then assign it as a data type string, last underscore name assigned it as a data type string or so. Then we can request the user to enter the first name and the last name. So the first name and the last name will be stored independently in both variables. And when we want to see out or display the output, we can use this see out and the code. But in order to separate the first name and the last name that we have stored, we have to use a space. And in this um, content, we are going to learn about the concatenated strings. How do we combine them? How do we combine them? And after that, we will learn about how to know the length of a string. Sometimes we will need to know that so that we can extract the data or extract the characters. And the third one is how to extract the string or certain string using the substring function. Let's go for the first part, which is concatenate uh, string. We only have to use the symbol plus sign, plus sign. Let's consider about these two declarations. We have um, declare f name as word, l name as hello, and both are string data type. So now if we want to combine them into one variable, it is possible. The first way to do that is we declare another string, C name. Then we have F name plus L name. In such a case, uh, the content of word and hello will be combined, or we call it concatenate and store it. Okay. In a second way, we also can directly see out F name plus L name. If we don't need to store it anyway, we just want to display it. But the outcome will be looking like this. Word, hello. It is combined. It is combined because there is no space is given. We didn't assign a space. So in order to solve this, we have to make sure when we call it, we have to put a space. Same case, if this happened to C name, if I want to store F name, L name, and the space inside the C name, so you have to copy this to replace this one. Then the whole strings, word, and word, space, and hello will be stored in the C name. And when we call it, it will display words, uh, space, hello. So I hope you get this. And in the practice, sometimes we will found that we don't only consider of two combining or concatenate two strings, but we will uh, we can combine more than two. Okay, for this example, we combine three, and then this example we combine another um, strings. Okay, double dot and then space. So it's up to you. As long as they are strings, then you can concatenate them. You can combine them. I hope this is clear. We next move, we move to length of a string. So the function is very simple. The variable name follow with dot length. That's all. Okay, let's try for the programming part. I have prepared a code string f name word string l name hello. So we can combine them by defining another variable, C name, F name, plus L name. And then we can see out the C name. So what will be happened? Yes, the uh, the string shows hell a word with without space and continue with hello for C name. This is what happens okay, after we call for a concatenation using the plus symbol. So in order to have a space, to give a space between the word and hello, then you have to add space and another plus symbol. And compile again. And now it shows word space hello. This is how we use the plus sign, concatenations. So what about the length of the string? We try to see out this message. Length of C name is. Can I add E and the L? I'm going to display the length of CM variable, C name variable. So C name dot length. And then close it. So let's try to compile and run. You found that it say length of C name 
is 11, excuse me. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, including the space, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Total 11. You also can plus, um, I tried, just try to plus another word, which is university with a space in front. Okay, now let's try it again. Compile and run. You found that F name concatenate with the space, concatenate with L name, concatenate with space university. So it's stored in the C name. And then when we call the C out C name, yeah, here is the result. Next is length. Length of the C name is 32. So whether it is correct or not, okay, just now 11 here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So exactly 22 characters. So this is how we use the length. How we use the length function. Let's go for the uh, substring. The substring syntax is quite simple as well. Uh, you have to call for the variables. And then we follow with a dot. Sub str, substring. In the parentheses. You have to define the start, when to start, and the length, how many characters you need. So let's say, consider um, the words university. Let's consider university. Actually, um, for, from our understanding is, it should be displayed like this. One space for one um, alphabet or one character. Okay, but in the computer, actually it is stored like this. Where this is the positions of every character. So for every string that we have stored, actually the positions of the particular uh, character is started with index of zero. This is the index, okay? Index of zero. Please remember this. So in such a case, if I call for um, index of four, which means that it will refer to E. If I call for index of seven, which is mean it is refer to uh, I. Okay, so I hope you, you're clear about these positions. Let's try. Now let us try how to call substring for substring. This, okay, C name, substring for C name. Let's say I want to extract the word, W-O-R-L-D, five, five characters, and then started with the first positions. First positions, remember, which is represented by zero. It is not represented by one. Okay, let's try. Uh, hold on. I add n line so that it does not confuse us. See, substring zero means that the positions where you want to start to extract the substring and how many characters you need. So w o r d is zero five. It is not one five, but zero five because of the positions, positions of the string. Let's say I want to extract hello. Then you have to know how many uh, words we have before the hello, and then what is the index? What is the index? If I, uh, I try to copy here, so I can explain to you. Hello underscore, uh, sorry, word underscore hello. Okay, from this example, actually, and this university. Yep, that is the whole string for C name. If I want to extract hello, then I have to know where is the position started with hatch. From here, it started with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is index 6. So from here, I have to change to 6. If I only want to extract hatch EL, I want to extract three characters, then I change this to 3. Okay, let's try. Compile and run. Exactly. H-E-L and index of 6 and I need 3 characters. So we also can try to extract other substrings like um, universe. Universe. Okay. I want to extract this one. So what should I do? Okay. The first thing is you have to know about how many characters you need to extract. From here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 characters. We are going to extract six characters and then where to start. So from here is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
and 12. U is 12. The positions for index U is 12. The positions for character U uh, is stored in index 12. So let's try. Compile and run. Yes, we got it. Okay, universe 12 and 6. So I hope through this video you learned about how to concatenate strings, how to find the length of a string, and then how to extract the characters um, or short strings from another variable. Okay, thank you for watching this video.